Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to day eight of the vlog. Uh, today is gonna be a little bit more of a basic day. I'm doing my usual stuff. I'm currently cutting out a load of stickers that orders uh, that are orders. Um, so they're gonna be going out to people today. Um, I've had a whole load of people email me for their tickets because they haven't got them yet because you gave me the wrong addresses, uh, which is absolutely fine. Um, and then I'm just gonna be basically posting a whole load of postage. Um, I have nothing really that exciting planned. However, um, I do plan on some, finding something fun to do because I never like to waste a day doing nothing. But first of all, I'm gonna be spending a whole load of time on the computer editing uh, the shit out of some videos. I've got a Broke Woods and Chill episode to do. I've got yesterday's vlog to do. I've got to finish the upload for last week's vlog, which is at the farm. So yeah, there's a whole load of shit that's gonna go down. But I need to basically get that smashed out and done and completed as soon as I can. Peace. Just a little update while I've got stickers on print. Um, yesterday was an absolutely sick day. I uh, spent it with Jamie from um, Shark Cray. It was so funny. We ended up setting up, well, Jamie ended up setting up for the tattoo. Uh, Mike's mum was getting a tattoo on her foot first and uh, he realized that he didn't have his pedal with him. So we had to do like the shadiest and shiftiest wiring um, I think I've ever done. Like we were ringing tattoo studios. We had gone down to Maplins and Argos. Um, if you don't know about tattoos, which I didn't until like yesterday, apparently you can use like little audio or like piano like pedals and stuff to get the, the to get the uh the gun working the uh the tattoo gun um and we absolutely like we shopped about we went absolutely everywhere and we couldn't find a thing um so i rang up a, a tattoo studio and the guy on the phone said basically if you wire up the live of the earth from the gun itself direct to the power pack which basically turns the voltage down the gun makes it go faster or slower then you'll be able to get the thing working you just won't have a pedal to turn it on and off you'll have to switch it directly off either from the mains or from the power pack so i opened up this power pack and just saw shit loads of circuit board inside i have no clue how circuit board works but i will give you this the reason that i knew what to do i managed to basically well don't get it wrong it took me about an hour and a half to find what i was looking for but the reason i knew where to put the live in the earth and what the fuck I was doing um, was because of my classic mini like was purely because of cars so if any of you are out there my tip of the day I think would be like if you're looking at buying a car or you're looking at buying something that you can modify or you're looking at changing your car because the one that you've got at the moment just doesn't do it for you what a lot of people do right now and don't get me wrong i'm not judging because i've done it myself as well it's an absolutely fine concept but what a lot of people do is naturally assume that they want newer cars to modify they want to potentially finance something or buy something which is um slightly i don't know quicker or like just newer more luxurious etc and, and what they end up doing is usually buying a car which exceeds kind of um being able to be done yourself so for example i bought my classic mini back in the day purely because for, basically for insurance reasons my dad was the one that suggested that i bought a classic mini i ended up buying it it was amazing it was great and i ended up learning a fuckload a fuckload to the point where i can now wire a, a tattoo gun in a circuit board to make it work from electrical mains in a house like don't get me wrong if you don't know what you're talking about that seems extreme if you do know what you're talking about you'll realize it is actually quite easy um so and i've purely done that with like twist and tape it was the sh shadiest thing i think i've ever done in my life and i was like kind of scared for the people or scared for mike and scared for mike's mum who were getting tattooed but by it i've been scared for jamie because he was holding it the whole time but yeah like if it wasn't for having an older car to modify and to learn from, that's where I would I would not have known what to have done. A lot of people, like I bought my Mini, my uh, new Mini, which was the R53. I called it a new Mini, it was 2004 plate, the Cooper S. And that comes with an ECU. And if anything goes wrong, it has to be plugged in at BMW and it costs a lot. Um, I've rewired my classic Mini myself. I burnt a loom out myself. And then I rewired the whole thing by going around filming it, taking each individual line off, and then basically putting it back on again. The best thing about it was the loom that I bought, some things or some parts didn't fit where they were meant to go. 
So I ended up adapting and changing the loom and basically kind of creating my own little loom off of the main loom, etc., to get the car to work again. I've had that experience. So my tip of the day would be, if you're looking for something to modify and you really want to get stuck in, don't go out and buy yourself a new car. Go out and buy yourself something that you can tamper with. It's maybe your first car, your second car, you're young, you're modifying, and you're out to have fun. The reason that your dad, your granddad, old mechanics and people like that know exactly what they're doing is because they were doing shit like this on old cars back in the day. So it would be my number one advice to anyone who's looking for a car and as well, anyone that's looking to do a car in true Broke Boys fashion because I wired my whole fucking classic mini for like 150 to 200 pound, which is nothing. Try wiring a, a, a more modern day car for that sort of price. If you're taking a whole loom out and putting a new one in, you'd never be able to do it. Then it'd have to be plugged in, have to be basically reprogrammed, etc. Um, and I've, what well, last night, saved the day because Jamie, don't get me wrong, he didn't come down from Wolverhampton purposely for this, but he was down this way. He had bought all of his stuff. And luckily enough, I was able to wire that up. So. That's my tip of the day, everybody. Make sure that you, I don't know, experiment, try things out, don't be scared. Look at YouTube, basically hit up tutorials online. There's something for all of that. I might do a tutorial on wiring one day. It'll be the most boring tutorial ever, but it will help people learn and it's real, real confusing. So I don't wanna get like too mathematical and look like some science teacher. But yeah, it's a lot of fun and I had a sick day yesterday and I cannot wait until hopefully Jamie comes down again and lets me tattoo Mike for the second time. I hope. <laughs> I don't think he'll let me. I scratched him to fuck. He was hurting. Bad. I am, I am not going outside. Today has been a bit of a, a boring one folks so I do apologise but it's been a good admin day and it's been a day of me catching up. The days that I take out to do exciting shit like I did yesterday with Jamie basically means that I have to, well I have to catch up on a lot of stuff that I miss because I spent the day out. So every now and then a vlog like this will happen but obviously I do always want to put a message behind the vlog and the message was earlier on. If you do have any sort of car dreams or you want to learn you want to buy something you want to buy something you can do something to my suggestion would always be buy something older that you can work on you can experiment with just because of what happened with us yesterday it was a sick opportunity for me to basically be able to well help the situation thank you very much peace safe bye Thank you.